Well, howdy, 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 nearly senior citizen here. Greetings, boys and girls, and welcome to this. Oy vey. Last night was a very crazy night. All day was crazy. I mean, I got like two hours of sleep yesterday, yesterday night, and then it exploded when I, I just, it came apart emotionally the early morning when I found out that Boogie was getting a, a, a divorce and that reminded me of my wife dying and threw me back into that entirely. And now I've got a hamster crawling out of my pocket. But last night I didn't get to bed until about 4 a.m. About that time. I just, my whole entire system was a mess. I was just torn apart all day. So it was about four o'clock when I got to bed. So it was 7.30 when I woke up from pain, but you know. And so I woke up at 7.30. Normally I'm starting to render my vlog about that time. And so it's 8.04 and I am now just starting to record. <laughs> and I've got a hamster on my hand. It's okay though, I had a vaccine for it, so. Well, I tried to make it sound like a hamster on your hand is a disease, but it's not. This is Boogle. I'm calling her Boogle. I think it's a silly name, so I'm calling her Boogle. She is dangerous, but she is a, a sweetheart for what she is. She bites, and I've been trying to make sure she doesn't bite me this morning, but she's pretty active, as you can see. She's a, she is a sweetheart, aside from the fact that she bites. So I'm going to put her away before she attacks and, and like, chews my hand off. But she's a sweetheart, the little boogle. <laughs> so named because of a kind commenter. And there we are, up here. Hamster face! Yeah, so I'm really, really tired. Normally, there you go, little boogle. You go back to there and into your, into your cage. Normally, I would be awake and have my brain semi-functioning by this time. Instead, I've just woke up. This has just turned on. So it's got about an hour and a half before it does anything more than just sit there like a blob of a blue light. Oh well, hopefully during my reaction and my game video that thing will be working. Still. Past that though, nothing has really happened in my life. In fact, you've pretty much seen it all yesterday on my video content. I was just devastated. I saw my therapist, my new therapist. I've been seeing my therapist. He has said, if you decide to go on to chemical antidepressants, you know, to some things that I already knew, like, you know, if you feel better, don't stop taking your antidepressants cold turkey. Now, I knew some things, it worked this way, it worked that way, your brain, but there is more info on why you don't want to do that. Most modern antidepressants are called SSRI, Selective Serotonin Reuptake Inhibitors. The idea being, our thinking on depression is, the more you have the uh, neurotransmitter serotonin sitting around in the space around your synapses because your brain you know that's I've known this forever I don't know if you know this it's but it's you know your synapses your brain cells they don't squish together and just grab they come up close and then they don't touch they're individuals but amongst all these little bits of their the cells that come close to each other those ends are filled with spots that give off neurotransmitters and they also have all sorts of intake. I can't remember what they are. Receptors. And the idea being the SSRIs, what happens is it blocks a lot of the receptors on the one cell. So as your one cell gives off serotonin, you've got more serotonin floating around in the space around the other cells. But your brain is adaptive. Your whole body is adaptive. As you block, because the drug goes in and fills the receptors so that it can't take up the serotonin, so there's more serotonin just floating here, what your body does then is, number one, because you're supplying your body with serotonin, it stops making as much because you're doing all this sort of stuff. And it because those receptors are blocked, it creates 
more receptors. So if you suddenly stop taking your antidepressant all of a sudden, all of the blocked receptors are unblocked, and you've got all these new receptors that have been there to take up the serotonin, so suddenly you've got two times, three times as many receptors taking up serotonin when you stop taking your drugs. So all of a sudden, your cells just go slurp, and there is no more serotonin in the synaptic space. Excuse me. And so you get really depressed, really fast, really hard. So if you take antidepressants, that's why you have got a taper instead of cold turkey. I talk with my hands. I'm uh, genetically Italian. <laughs> I just talk with my hands. I always have my whole life. I mention this periodically because I'm always waving my arms around, but I've, I've always talked with my hands. That's why being on stage plays, because I used to act on stage plays up until like my... Uh, well, I even did some after I was 20, but, you know, it was like when I was earlier, but try to remember, why did I bring this up? Why did I bring up stage plays? Acting? No. I also, my therapist, when I said that, yeah, I have trouble remembering stuff, and it feels like, you know, someone will reach into my head and go, uh, uh, and then the memory is just gone. Because he said, yeah, after you forget something, you just, you know, if you stop thinking about it, it comes back. I went, yeah, but I also have this. And he went, that, that, that's not fibro. That's depression. Now, I imagine there is a fibromyalgia component to it. But that is classic, classic, classic depression. So, yeah, he's treating me for a... Why does it... My... I just turned my computer on. I'm looking at my webcam software and it says I've been recording for four hours and 28 minutes. Uh, I don't understand my computer system. Now I've got to go over to the side and make sure that it's actually just recording normally. I think it is. Uh, so I couldn't even tell you how long I've been recording. Just one moment. I'm going to try turning this thing off and I'll be right back. Okay, uh, it recorded fine for 7 minutes and 34 seconds. And so at 13 minutes is when I've got to stop this file, which means 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. At 8 minutes is when I've got to start bringing it all to a halt because for whatever reason, I mean, it's I don't know why. Everything in my computer has just been a mess since my reinstall. When I turn on my computer in the morning times, it... I've told it, look on the internet, change your clock accordingly. I turn it on and I've got to go actively into the Windows settings, turn off, because it says, you can keep this thing updated by using the internet. And it's clicked and it's supposed to, and it's like five hours off on the time. So I say, okay, don't, and it stops checking the internet. And then I say, okay, now turn, check the internet. And then it turns back on and fixes the time. So I've been using this software for seven minutes and yeah, it says I was recording for four hours and 28 minutes. It's everything is just freaking crazy and I don't know why. It shouldn't be nuts. I've had Windows 10 installed before. This has never happened. I've got malware services running. I've got antivirus stuff running. They all say it's fine. Why is my computer so freaking crazy now. I don't understand. Everything is insane. I can't. There was this one text browser, text browser, text editor I use. It used to be when you called up the dialog window, you just went in there, you used the scroll wheel to scroll up and down, and it would scroll. You can't scroll anymore. No, you have to click and use the scroll bars on the side. Because if you go to use the scroll wheel, nope, nope. Scroll wheels don't work anymore. And that was just day before yesterday. It was doing fine. Not anymore. Why? I don't know. Windows 10 is just not working right. Everything is crazy. The only good thing about this is now I've got it so that my mouse works with no input lag. Finally. But now it's with no input lag. Maybe that's why. I, I've did some things and now the mouse 
doesn't scroll anymore? But there's no more input lag. I just need to get a better mouse pad. This one is older, a year and some. It was given, it was a, a present from, I believe, Mika Mot 5, but it's gotten old and beat up as mouse pads do. But it was a nice, it's reflective, but not super reflective, and so it still actually works not that bad. But it's not good. The other one, well, of course, it's way over there, so I'm gonna have to adjust myself center wise as soon as I get back. And then I have to hit the mouse. Mouse? It's not a mouse, that's my boom mic. My brain is not functioning. Oh my gosh, I, I'm, I am so tired, it is insane. I was trying to use this one. This is a really, really, really super cool mouse pad picture thing. That's an awesome mouse pad. It's unfortunately, you see how reflective that is? I get more mouse input lag off of the shininess of this than I do off off the Windows input lag that I had. I tried using this side, but it doesn't glide. And the rubber feet on the mouse stick to the rubber pad. So this is really nice, but I'm gonna put it back up because it's just, I can't use it to play games all that well because it's so shiny. It's awesome, but it's awesome to look at, not so awesome to use. So thank you very, very much, whoever sent this to me. Thank you, it is appreciated. It used to be on the shelf back there until I started trying to use it, and now, oh well. Oh boy, so I'm really sorry it's all just, everything's crazy, and it's, I'm gonna be late, and this video is gonna be less than wonderful. I am so tired. <laughs> Don't become emotionally and physically exhausted, and then, after being, you know, just two hours of sleep, and then being emotionally exhausted, and then staying up, that was about 28 hours of being fully awake and running before I finally went to bed last night because I just could not get to bed. I was not feeling comfortable or happy about doing it. And so I just stayed up. I haven't been uncomfortable. It was mild anxiety, to be honest. So being so wound up yesterday, it certainly didn't help. Up. And, 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 I had also said to my, my therapist, I was saying, you know, I've often thought of trying anti-anxiety medication, but I know I won't be able to take it. My brain, I hacked my brain to stay awake because if I had slept a good 20 times during my marriage to my wife, if I would have woke up to have found her dead. So I trained myself to stay awake 23 hours out of 24 to make sure that if something went wrong, I could call for help. Now my wife's been gone for three years and some odd months. My brain still does not want me to go to bed because I'm trapped in the loops of if I go to bed, something horrible will happen. So I need to be awake for it. But that's not true anymore. But my brain's still stuck in this, so we're trying to work on that. And I said, I, I take these medications, but for my body, it equates getting tired, getting sleepy, you know, going, oh, I'm, I'm feeling tired now. That associates with death. Either death of others or death of myself, because when I sleep, something horrible can happen to everyone around me or me. So we're trying to, we're going to be trying to fix my head so I can go to sleep without panicking that somebody's going to die. It's not a conscious decision of, gosh, you know, someone's gonna die. It's just that subconsciously, it's stuck in my head because that so many times, had I been asleep like I should have been, I would have woke up to found my wife dead long before she actually perished so it's fun well what I'm gonna do is I'm got well I'm opening up 24 hours worth of comments because I forgot to do that of course 24 hours worth of comments on my community tab in my uh, creator studio my apologies for saying uh I try not to do that but every once in a while I end up saying uh or um much as I hate doing it 
what's his name, James James Rolf of uh, Angry Video Game Nerd Guy. If I'm not, if I'm watching him just talking instead of reading a script, it's very, very difficult for me to watch him because he and his friends, Mike Matai and all that, they go, um, 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 and it drives me freaking crazy because he goes, yeah, and then I, um, headed down the stairs and, um, when I turned on the light, then, um, I was able to see that, um, I was like, oh, just pause, pause, please. But I'm going to thank 20 to 25 people. If I mispronounce your name, no disrespect. I'm not reading the comments now. So, you know, with a good comment, bad comment, indifferent comment, just thank you for having left a comment. Again, if I mispronounce your name, no disrespect is intended. And, ah, oh, my bloody Chrome and my windows installed but bad vibes forever thank you very very much and then there's stonia s thank you greatly appreciated donnie broski greatly appreciated and then there is book book buck what buck dick one b-u-c-k-d-i-c-h buck ditch uh, however it's pronounced thank you very very much and franco prieto thank you uh idx aka shizo Thank you very, very much. Mateus Balter, greatly appreciated. Kioka, thank you very, very much. And Anthony Ornelas, greatly appreciated. Cam Chapin, thank you very, very much. And then there's Gaming with Purge Anarchy, thank you very much, greatly appreciated. Lataro Ferrer, thank you very, very much. XX Metal Atom, XX, thank you very, very much. Trevor Brubaker, greatly appreciated. Thank you very, very much. Justina Aquavina Metz, always good to see you in the comments. Thank you very, very much. You are a wonderful person, thank you. And then there is Psychonaut, thank you very, very much. And Ghost BC Fan One. I, people have been asking, when did Boogie say that he is, and his wife are getting a divorce? He tweeted about it and he has a subreddit. And he, he did a huge post on his subreddit about it. Yay. And then Sam Whiteley, thank you very, very much. Vladimir Fro, oh, Vladimir Froze? It's a W, so I'm not quite sure. Thank you very, very much. And then Yuri4, thank you very much. Greatly appreciated. Mikono, thumbs up and thank you very, very much. Ga uh, no, no. Uh, Brysonk, thank you very, very much. And then there is S4Mer41RPG, I think. However it's pronounced, thank you very, very much. And then Caitlin Clark, thank you very, very much. Greatly appreciated. And last but not least, Shri Harsha. I sure hope I'm close. Thank you all very, very much. It is greatly appreciated. Dennis Davey, get me out of my head, into the world, dealing with real people. Thank you very, very much. I can't tell because of the way my software was running how close I am to 20 minutes, so it's not going to be anywhere really close. So if you could check my links down below, that would be awesome. I do appreciate all the positive validation I can get. I just mix that up. I am so tired. It is, if you can check my links, I've got like Twitter, Facebook, GoFundMe, Patreon.com, Google+, Plus. that would be awesome if you could check those out. Possibly donate to my GoFundMe campaign or become a Patreon.com patron like all my beautiful and wonderful patrons that I have. Thank you so much. It is literally, I have a roof over my head because of you. Thank you. Greatly appreciated. If you could donate or become a patron, that would be awesome, and I need the help as much as I can get. I don't want to become homeless. So, thank you very much. But if you do not donate, or you cannot donate, I take all good wishes, deposit them in the bank of my heart where I draw interest. So, thank you very, very much. Now, if you could toss me a like, I do appreciate all the positive validation for my existence that I can get. There, see? I, I can say it right if I think about it. If you could subscribe to the channel, that would be cool. I would appreciate that as well. But it, I do understand. My personality has rubbed people around my entire life. If you do not like my videos, or you do not want to subscribe to my channel, I do understand. So, but thank you. If you are down with subscribing, I'll do my best to keep you entertained from now until the literal end of time. Ta-da! <laughs> like right now. Again, I, it says 11 minutes and 44 seconds. I had to move my webcam software because I was looking at the people and talking about stuff and my mouse doesn't scroll anymore on its own. So yay on that. Well you take care. Have a great day today. I gotta get editing and rendering so be careful. Take care of yourself. Have a good a day as you possibly can. Stay sane. Stay healthy. Stay safe. Somewhere out there is a city bus with your name on it. And if you're not careful that bus is going to get you and wipe you out.
doesn't matter if you're flying a small aircraft, it could come out of your view from over that one wing at 35,000 feet feet. Boom! You're down and out. You're having dinner in a restaurant on the 15th floor of a building. The next thing you know, there's a bus through the window. You're dead. There's a bus with your name on it. Avoid that bus. Stay alive. Stay healthy. Stay sane.